Good evening, everybody. Felt led to kind of do a follow-up on the video that I made a couple of days ago, getting ready for what's next. And um, kind of kind of holding back a little bit last time. Um, just because I, I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to be negative. Um, I want things to be positive, but be, I mean, of, of course, everybody wants everything to be positive and upbeat, upbeat. We're sick and tired of what's going on down here and all this junk happening in the world, messed up evil stuff and political stuff and New World Order stuff and pandemic stuff and everything else that's going on and and uh, kind of holding back on trying to water things down, I guess, but not water them down. <laughs> uh, but um, anyway, uh, so I, I I'm going to kind of elaborate, uh, go a little bit further on on some things and and uh it's unfortunate but uh we do we need to get ready for what's next and and so let's pray and ask the lord to be here with us and and we'll get going heavenly father lord you know all things you know everything lord that's going on everywhere all the stuff that we have no clue about you have you are totally and completely aware of what these people are doing what they're planning, what they've got going, and it's nothing new to you. We pray, Father God, that you would help us to be very, very, very steadfast in our faith, very, very sturdy in our position with you, very rooted. And, and Jesus, Lord, that, that no matter what happens, that we're not swayed, we're not in the least bit budged, we're not affected we're praying lord that you would protect us right now during um these times and what's to come ahead of 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 us here and uh we pray for your holy spirit lord to please continue to give us a heads up and give us uh, comfort and give us peace and uh let us feel that security lord that comes with being children of yours lord this we know that we know that we know that you got us and that you love us and that you're going to take care of us and uh we're praying for uh some wisdom right now lord some knowledge some some additional um uh things that we can use right now lord to help us to uh stand firm and not let what's going on in the world um blow us around and I think I mentioned the waves, like the waves. Just let us let us be calm, cool, and collected, and 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 let us be um, steadfast, Lord, and and let us uh, endure in our faith and persevere in our faith, and let us have some peace and some calm and some st and some stability. We ask all these things in Jesus' precious name, Amen. So I um. Like I said, I was kind of holding back a little bit on what I wanted to say about getting ready for what's coming up. Um, I I just I, I for the last week or so, I just I felt that there's just some stuff coming, and talked to some guys that I know and some guys that I trust and some guys that I can just say anything I want to, to, and what a blessing that is. I can say anything I, I want and, 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 and say, man, this is what I'm feeling. This is what I think is going on. This is what I think God's telling me. And, and, you know, I can get their honest opinion and, and, you know, it's, it's been a, a uh, uh, we, we're all coming to the same point. Um, yep. Stuff's getting ready to happen. It's, it's going to get worse before it gets better. 
and there's some things brewing that um, are, are, you know, they're going to try some stuff again that they've already done and they've had some time to think about it. They've had some time to dial it in. They've had some time to plan it a little better and, and, and they're getting ready to pull the same thing on us again. And they're getting ready to take some stuff that we've already gotten wind of and, and you know, try to take it to the next level. You just keep, keep pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. And, and so, um, I think, well, we've had a little breather. We've had a little bit of, um, but they, they've taken the time and they've looked at what they've done and looked at where it was weak and where it was successful. And, the, and they're, they're just scheming again on, on what to do to us next. And, and so we need, um, we need to persevere in our faith. We need to be strong. We need to not be blown around like the like the waves, and we we need to not go from one extreme to the other on our emotions and and our you know our feelings. It's it's you know not get rattled by what these people down here are trying to do. What the enemy is in the process of doing. God told us all along what was going to happen. We're witnesses. We're witnessing it going down just exactly the way God's word said that it would go down. And so, I mean, um, yeah, we need to be, we need to be just steady as a rock right now. Um, and, and hold on to our faith, hold on and not, not be blown off course at all, not be affected by them at all. And, and so, um, Honoring up every day and spending time with God, spending time on the Word, watching what we're listening to and watching and and um, you know concentrating on 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 Him is is man you, you can't lose by doing that and and you know asking for God's wisdom, asking for God to give you knowledge, asking for God to uh, show us how to deal with things. I mean He's He's all about giving us the information that we need when we need it. So, um, I, uh, um, um, been reading, uh, Timothy and, and I've been in Acts and, and I wanted to talk about what I'd mentioned before where I, where I was saying, yeah, I can remember thinking that, um, I heard that in the last days that, that, God's really going to pour out his spirit and then we're all going to know um, that, that he's going to make it so that everybody knows that, you know, this is a God thing going on. This this, this rapture stuff and, 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 and I got, I was blessed and I got a bunch of replies and, and so, I mean, throughout the book, the Bible, the book of Daniel um, Acts, I mean, in, uh, Deuteronomy, um, Hebrews, I mean, in Matthew, I mean, it, it all talks about in the last days, how God's going to pour out his spirit and that those of us that are wise, those of us that believe in, in God and Jesus and his word, we're, we're going to know what's coming. And so, um, going back to being steady and, and not being blown off course and, 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 and not being shaken, um, goes back to, um, um, we know what's going to happen. We, we have God's word in front of us. We know what's going on. We know the, what, what they're trying to do. And so, um, there's a lot of things coming up, um, and a, a lot of, man, just worldwide, our own government, um, the WHO, the medical people, the pharmaceutical people. I mean, there's just a lot all coming kind of at once. And, and it's like, um, so it's like round two, um, if you will, um, but I, 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 I think that God's going to allow us to endure 
some more of this because um, he's trying to get us all ready to be there with him. He's trying to refine us a little bit more. Um, and and so I think a lot of this is, is he's going to allow um, to help sharpen us, to help really get us a little further down the line with him um, and, and to keep us humble and, and to keep us grateful and um, to keep us looking at ourselves um, and being honest with ourselves and, and being more obedient and turning away from things that we need to be turning away from. Um, so it, it's, it's like that purification process with, you know, like the silver or, or you know, he's going to put more heat on us to, to get rid of more impurities. And so I'm, I'm constantly looking and, you know, I'm, I'm constantly, man, it's, it's having to adjust and say, man, I just got to quit, got to quit that, got to quit that, you know, I got to, man, I, I, I got to keep going up the ladder here in my faith. I got to, I got to keep renewing, uh, that faith. I keep building on that faith, keep holding on to it and, and, and putting more and more of my roots down in, in the ground that I know is solid. And, and so, um, um, I, I wanted to, uh, talk about, um, second Timothy verse or chapter three. And I, I've mentioned this before, but let's read, uh, verse one, but know this, that in the last days, perilous times will come. So again, I've, I've, what does perilous mean in, in to God? And so, um, I think we've already been through some perilous times and, and, um, everybody got the snot scared out of them and, you know, fear, we know where that's from. It's, it's a liar and it's from the enemy, but, um, we've been there and done that. And so what they're going to start throwing at us next, uh, there's no reason to be afraid. Okay. Um, none. And, you know, they're, they're screaming bloody murder that the sky was falling and everyone was going to die last time. And, um, they're going to try that again. And all I'm going to say is, um, don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Um, I, I'm going to go ahead and I, I saw a meme that I thought was great and, and I love it. And, and so, um, you know, I'm going to just throw this up here. It's backwards in my camera, but, um, you know, that's where I'm at. And, and I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be afraid. That's what they want everybody to do. They want everybody to be afraid. Well, I'm not gonna go along with that. They want everybody to, uh, knee jerk react and, and jump through whatever hoop. I'm not going to react to that. Um, so, um, just trying to put it as delicately as I can without, you know, overdoing it. But, um, you know, I, I know what's really going on. And I think that all of us that in our, in our spirits, we all know, um, that, um, this ain't over quite yet. There's still a little bit more to go. And, and, uh, according to God's own word, um, and, and just based off the other things I know about him and what I've seen him do. And, um, he, he's, he's, he usually lets things get kind of out of hand. Uh, but he, he always steps in right at the perfect time. Right. And takes care of what needs to be taken care of. He, his, his perm, his timing is just impeccable. Perfect. Never late, never early, just perfectly right on time. And so he's going to be that way again. And so in the meantime, you know, we need to persevere in our faith. 
And, and so, um, 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 over here in Matthew 24, I've been, I've been reading, but verse four really sticks out and, and this is the disciples, uh, talking to him. Well, how are we going to know, you know, when you're, when you come back and, and, um, you know, they're talking about the destruction of the temple and all that good stuff. Uh, so as Jesus was, I'm going to read verse three. As Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately. Tell us, they say, they said, when will this happen? And what will be the sign of your coming and the end of the age? And the first thing that Jesus said, Jesus answered, watch out that no one deceives you. And so um, we've been lied to um, big time. And it, it, the, the lies just keep coming. But there's also a bunch of truth into what they're, what they're saying. Um, they want to do exactly all the stuff that's, that's listed in the Bible that, that the Antichrist and what the enemy wants to do to everybody on this planet. So we've been lied to and then and then they've said it right out loud what their intentions are, what their plans are that jive with every single thing that God warned us about. So, but Jesus, the first thing that he said, watch out that no one deceives you. So um, I'm, they're not gonna, what does it mean to deceive somebody? To trick them? To con them or uh, I mean um, BS them whatever you want to call it right so I'm not going to be conned or tricked or BS into being afraid about anything okay and and so um, let's not let's not go there we've been there done that right and but um God knows what they're what they're up to. God knows what they're doing, and and um, God promises us to deliver us out of um, this mess. And so I I, I just think that He's going to let it just keep keep kind of going. They're going to try to get away with it even more, and. And more of what they're doing is going to be revealed and the truth comes out. We're seeing that already. And, and so um, he's the one that's going to have the final say. And he's the one that's going to be the judge of all of this lawlessness, of all of this evilness, of all of this deception. God... Him, it, we're not going to be able to get them in, in front of a, you know, in, in court for all of what's going on, but he is. So it's not us, it's not up to us to debunk all this stuff and, and prove it all. Uh, you know, we were right, they were wrong. Uh, God's going to do that. And um, the beginning of that is when he comes he sends Jesus to come get us and the world as we all since the day, the very first day that God said, let there be light. I mean, every single person that's ever lived every day that's happened since then 6,000 years ago or so. Um, it, it's, it's everything that we've ever known down here as God's children and as people is going to change overnight and and within a blinking of an eye and god will finally um do what he's going to do and that's put a stop to this the, the there's a seven year process there that, that's going to happen but at the end of that um you know it, as far as we're concerned as far as everybody that's died in christ is concerned it's over with for us he he's he's ruled got us out of here we move on we turn the page and and what happens next is 
for everybody else that that's not on board and and they have a chance still to 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 join us and then they have a chance to never join us so um but god's going to be the judge of this god's going to take care of all of this and there's not going to be anything that that was done in secret that's not going to be revealed and that he's going to have a say about so um be confident god's got us he's going to take care of us he's not going to leave us hanging and um but i'm i'm just saying just just be on guard be prepared um and and there's nothing that could happen right now that would surprise me there's nothing that could could go down that would be a shock um it's just, there's absolutely nothing that i can think of anymore that that could happen here that that would rattle me so um and there's a lot of stuff that i'm bothered by there's a lot of, obviously i mean i'm concerned what happened in maui is unbelievable what's going on there um um the people involved <laughs> The people that are, I mean, it, it's its just, every every single thing that's going on in the world is, is just crazy, um, off the hook, weird stuff going on that we're not getting the full truth about. I mean, there and, and there's a lab in Fresno that was experimenting with COVID. And I mean... <laughs> I mean that's been buried for months and we're just now getting wind of what happened there i mean it, it, there's just so so much that that we don't know and but god does know and and um i do know this that that we are not meant for wrath and that that god is going to deliver us out of um uh out of this um and so um my point is, is that it's, it's going to, it's going to get a little worse before it gets a little better and just be prepared for that. And, um, you know, um, I, I'm, I'm trying to, um, just try to bear fruits of the spirit. Um, I'm going to, let's pull that up just to review, um, So, um, let's see here. Let's see here. I know Paul wrote this. Fruits of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. And, and so it's that's Christ living in us. Right. And that's, that's, I'm, I'm trying to focus on that's what's coming out of me on a daily basis. And, and with the people that just come across my path, um, I don't have to go be a missionary pilot and fly in the Congo or the Amazon or up here in Alaska to middle of nowhere. I, I don't have to go to some, far edge of the earth to, to be a missionary. I'm just doing it right here. You know, God calls us to, you know, go preach the gospel, uh, to all the nations and, um, just doing it right here where I'm at. And, and I, I had a, I had a thing today. I had a, I, I took my little memory card in from my breathing machine into the hospital and, and there was a young lady there that, I know she's not a Christian and I, I can just sense that, man, this lady's been, she, I know she's been hurt. I, I can just tell she's been, I mean, she's been out there in the world. She's, she's been taken advantage of. Um, I mean, I don't know her personally or anything, but I can just tell that she's, she's been through a lot of crap and she's on her guard. If that makes sense, she's, she doesn't want to get, just keep it, just keep it right there professional and I don't, I don't nothing personal and so you know i'm praying on the way there to this appointment with her and 
And I'm in the parking lot and I'm like, man, God, just, you know, Holy Spirit, just please be here with me and let me say what I can or what, you know, anything just to, you know, I, I don't care if it's just, um, man, what a blessing it is that I'm getting some sleep, you know, just something that I could say, throw in something that into the conversation where it could remotely kind of point to God, you know, just try to slip them in there somehow, some way, just, you know, talk about it. My, my jacket's camo and, and God's for real. And, you know, just stating facts, how can I do this? And, in, in a you know, just a normal everyday way where it's not obvious that I'm like trying to hit her with the Bible or something, you know, I mean, I hate that. Um, and I, I just, just trying to speak the truth and love to her, right? Just, and so I, I met the, meet this other guy, this other man, he's about my age, and he's apparently been on a, one of these machines for a couple of years. And, and so um, he was there, I guess, for them to read his card or whatever he was doing. They were getting a new mask or something, and he was there. And so he and I, before she came out to talk to me, we started chatting about fishing. <laughs> we started talking about boats. And, and we started talking about, hey, man, you know, these salmon are spawned out. What are they? Are they biting anything? Or are you having any luck? And this is what we were trying. And, you know, we we're just talking about fishing. And she comes out and I, I kind of lighten it up. And she goes, well, I'm, I'm, and, you know, she's kind of ready. And I'm like, well, we're, man, we just got started talking about fishing and boats. You, if you want to join in the conversation, that'd be great. <laughs> and so, uh, anyway, she, you know, we trying to lighten it up. Right. And, and so, um, she goes back in there. She had, she ran some report for me and something. And so she comes back out and then he and I are still talking. Right. And so she comes back out and, and, um, she goes over my report and I very kind say, I really appreciate it. I'm getting addicted to this machine. I'm getting sleep now. This is great. And so this number and that number, I'm trying to do this and that so I can, you know, make sure that I'm really, really utilizing this thing to the full extent. Right. And, and apparently she had been helping this other man for the last couple of years. He knows her very, very well. As it turns out, we walk outside together. We start chatting and he's a Christian. He's a deacon at a Bible church. And we started talking about her. And I said, yeah, I was just praying about it, man, before I got up here that, you know, I've only met her once and only had one conversation. I could tell that she was a little, a little rough, you know, as far as just all business. And, and he was like, man, I, 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 slowly gotten to know her and 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 I said well man you us hitting it off and us chatting that that you made me look good in front of her that she can maybe trust me well he you know he had developed a, a little bit of sense of trust with her and I said man it's just God's put it on my heart to be praying for her and I and he goes that's amazing because that's exactly why I've been looking at this for the last two years and she's just now starting to let her guard down a little bit around me and I'm like wow so hallelujah that, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to be sensitive to who God wants me to witness to or talk to and then come to find out there's another brother in Christ that's uh, been working on that same thing. And and so, but, um, you know, we're, we're just out working the field that, that we're in, right? And we talked about that and um, the mission field and, and we're doing our work and we're taking care of our responsibility, but we're also... Uh, trying to do the work of missionaries just right where we live every day just a as we go along and as else things happen and and you know I've got another appointment tomorrow with uh, uh, my other doc and and every time I go to town man I just pray up say Lord there's an opportunity here you know if I can say something to somebody or or do something or whatever just to help you know, please just let me be aware of that. Let me be sensitive to it. And, and so, um, that keeps me grounded. That keeps me steady. That keeps me, you know, where I need to be spiritually. And that, and then, and if I'm exercising, you know, the, the fruits of the spirit and, and letting that, letting God live in me and letting his word live in me, let Jesus live in me. And, and it's not about me. It's about them seeing God. Or, or not seeing me, but seeing him. And, and hopefully there's, there's other things happening in their lives where 
there's other people doing the same thing. So that, man, man, this guy said this to me today. And that guy said that to me yesterday. And this lady that I know said this to me last week, man, this whole God thing, it's like, you know, maybe he's knocking on my door and, and I'm, I'm hoping that's where, you know, that's what's going on. And, but, um, anyway, um, just everybody, let's just, uh, persevere in our faith. Lights coming on and, um, let's, let's hold, hold true and steady on our courses here and ride this out. God's got us. He's uh, not going to leave us hanging. And, um, um, you know, I don't, I don't proclaim to have any kind of prophetic word or anything like that. And, uh, I, I'm trying not to, you know, itch people's itchy ears or, or whatever, uh, you know, say whatever they want to hear. But I, I always, I always put this disclaimer in that, you know, I'm just sharing with you guys what God shared with me. Right. And, and just everyday life and what I'm dealing with, what I'm thinking about and, and what I'm kicking around and, you know, what I've talked to some other, uh, brothers in Christ about and what they think about it. And so, um, you know, we're all, we're all in here. We're all in this together. We're all brothers and sisters, um, and, and God's kingdom. And, and so, uh, iron sharpens iron. It really does. And, and so hopefully we're, we're, I mean, you guys are sharpening me. There's a lot of the comments that are so encouraging. They're awesome. Thank you. Um, being able to pray for people is wonderful. So what I wanted to, what I wanted to, we're getting kind of past 30 minutes here, but what I wanted to say was that, um, God's put it on my spirit that he is pouring out his Holy Spirit in the last days. And what he's putting on my spirit is that, he is calling a lot of people right now that he is the Holy spirit is actively out there trying to draw more and more, more draw people back, draw people closer, take other people to the next level and service and, and, and ministry stuff. The Holy spirit, God, his word is absolutely true. He is pouring out his spirit right now. And so, um, you know, and, and I sense that and, and I am just, man, this is what I live for now is those, these little opportunities like today, I could tell when I first, first talked to her, she was like, I just want to get this shit over with and leave me alone. I could read that having a, you know, I mean, she didn't say just, just the look on her face, just her body language, just. I'm having a hard time. I'm dealing with some other crap. I don't, I just want to get this over with as quick as I can and be done with it. And so hopefully I turn this around a little bit to where it wound up being pleasant for her. And it was, it, you know what I'm saying? So, um, anyway, um, everybody, man, just hold what you got and, and let's, let's do, I mean, the love God first, Greatest commandment. Okay, I'm in. I got it. And and the second one, love one another. I mean, those are the the two greatest commands, right? So um, let's let's try and keep doing that. And and if this wind and this storm just gets worse and worse and worse, then let's let these people see us not getting blown around. Okay, holding what we got, not being affected by this, and um, not being afraid to say something about it. So, um, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm coming from today. And, um, so God bless you guys. And, um, we'll talk to you later.